Darn. How does it look? You think we can get out? I don't think so. You'd need the strength of a bear to break those bars with your hands. What do you mean we can't get out? How hard can it be? Why don't you ask these guys? Damn it! Did you see that? Someone's in here. Will you shut up and get us out of here? How hard can it be for thieves like you to get us out of a place like this? Try saying that in the East End, holy man. Your severed head would hit the ground before you even finished the thought. This is worthless. I can't believe I'm wasting my time on you. I'm on a mission from God. What a waste. Such a terrible waste. <laughs> my name is Charlotte. Not that it means anything. Not that you have a prayer. I'm talking to three dead people. Nobody's gonna save you. Nobody. So you died here as well? Yes, I died here too, hundreds and hundreds of years ago. They locked me up in here right after I was born. They beheaded me the day I turned nine. Happy birthday. I've been trapped here ever since, and no one even knows who I am. <laughs> My poor little angel. <laughs> poor little angel, me? Save your pity for yourself. You'll be dead within three days. Not true. I don't know what your circumstances are, but I know that your mother loved you very, very much. My mother? I don't know her face, her name, where she came from. Nothing. You're telling me that means nothing? From the day I was born, the day I died, no one will ever love me. And I never want to be loved. Just die! All of you! Just die! Just die.
Amazing. Absolutely amazing. I can't believe these treasures are in this monastery. Is that Montaigne's signature? Oh, that's a Caravaggio. Unbelievable, truly. Why have these treasures been forgotten? Treasures. If these treasures can be contributed to the Vatican, their value to Christianity is unquantifiable. What a discovery. Do you remember what this place is? It's not just a monastery, it was a prison. People were executed for fighting each other for supremacy. These treasures must have been taken from them, soaked with curses and hatred. You'll be cursed if you worship those things. I am a busy man that does not have the patience to teach you the importance of faith. But I will tell you why we have found these treasures. It could only have come from the guidance of God. God sees all, he knows all. Got it? Preach to the converted. What about you, Edward? You seem a little more educated than she. I don't really care. Talk to me about monetary value. <laughs> Save the holy crap. Hmm. It seems I'm disappointed once again. I believe these dead thieves are better than you two. At least they appreciated true value. Instead of preaching, I want you to understand something, okay? You can't label all those dead bodies as thieves hunting treasure. I saw plenty of dead women who were cut up and mixed in with the mummies, and they were pretty fresh. Yeah. Strange. Even if I were used to seeing dead bodies, I'd be vomiting. So it is that couple. But why? Fools! How could such a kind and faithful couple be cold-blooded killers? This is the work of jealousy and greed, and pagans born of savagery, immigrants. I will not be a party to such abusive slander. This is, this is so unpleasant.
always blame everything on the savagery of pagans. Are all men of the cloth like that? It's senseless to tell you this, but the truth is... What the...
thief! Uh, He's been sneaking around in the shadows and sniffing for treasure. Just like us. Well, sir, explain yourself. Uh, it's as plain as day this ruffian's a bloodthirsty killer who's been chasing us. Where are you from, Hamburg? Not that it really matters. You're obviously a dirty immigrant thief. Probably infected with cholera or something most of you are. None of your business! Where I was born, you bastard! Look, I don't really care where you were born. And I agree. <laughs> he is a bastard. But tell me, did you kill all these people? Look. I'm an immigrant. I'm a thief, and maybe I did drop a chandelier on you. But that's just because I wanted the whole pie for myself. So you, you did kill all these people! No. I swear to God. Not your god, bigot. What do you mean? It was the couple. The couple who look after this place. What? I'm telling you the truth. I've seen them. I've been down here a long time. Usually they use an axe when they catch thieves. The thieves come down here unarmed. They're stupid. They get caught from behind. I'd watch my back if I were you. Unbelievable. No, I'm telling you. The lucky ones die on the first strike. I've heard the others screaming through the night, clutching their bellies. I find them in the morning dead. No, I'm telling you, their fingers to their hearts. Right through to their organs with a pain. Look, take it and leave it. But I'm telling you the truth, those two, they're Satan incarnate. I may look shady, but killing's not my style. Look, the more wholesome they look on the outside, the colder and uglier the heart is. Just look at him! <laughs> yeah. Good assessment for a thief. You're crazy if you believe this scoundrel. This killer's obviously executed hundreds of people. He needs to be turned into the police and judged in a proper forum. We're crazy. Why? Just because he's an immigrant? Or is it because he's one of the unsaved? That's bull and you know it, you pig-headed old bigot. What I'm trying I to say is... this guy. Thieves can be exceedingly honest, you know? Still, he did try to kill us. For that. <laughs> what did you do that for? If our lives cease being threatened, then it's a victory for God and all his glory, right? But if we go on letting them attack us, then the filthy, godless pagans win. Which would you like to bet on?
Hey, what's this? The Princess Alice? Well, she was a pleasure boat that went down in a terrible accident in the Thames. This one too. And this one. What's going on? They're all the Princess Alice. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 